so I look really tanned right now. I don't, I'm hoping I don't come off extremely orangey. If I do, I'm very, very sorry. I don't know, it doesn't look that bad in the viewfinder, but it always looks completely different when I look at it on my computer, which sucks. But today I am doing the perfect palette tag, which I know is really old, but I just felt the need or the want to do it now because I have expanded my palette collection recently and I have a lot more palettes now than I did when this tag came out a couple months ago. So I decided this is probably the best time for me to share my palette knowledge. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more because this is really far away and we can start. First of all we had this for best packaging. This goes to the Stila Dessage Essentius Ombre, if I can't pronounce it. Dessage a saison palette. palette. <laughs> I just love the, it's pretty sleek. I find, I love the picture on the front. I love the little Canadian flag. Um, it has like a clip, but it's, I don't know. I feel like there's some magnetic kind of composure there too. It has this humongous mirror. And then there's four shadows. I would like if there was more shadows in here, but I just adore this packaging and I think it's so nice to travel with and I think it looks really cute. Um, I think I'm losing my voice too so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's definitely going. I have a presentation on Monday, that's not very good. Next is Best Color Payoff and this is definitely the Pulp Fiction palette. I got this for my birthday from one of my friends and I am in love. So you open it up and there is five shades. They are so buttery soft. Like you don't even need to like you just like kind of got to press your finger in it and like the payoff is immaculate. I'm going to go with the black. Like the colors is amazing. I don't really like the brush that it comes with. I find that it's kind of illogical. Like it's so small and tiny like you can't really get any product nicely dispersed but the shadows itself are heavenly. I love them so much. So this is this on sale at Sephora too. So I'm like, definitely check this out. It's great. Next is most versatile. And I decided to go with the Jugstore palette. This is the Gold Spun Revlon Color Stay palette. And I really like this color. I find that the colors are really nice. And I find that you can use them, like this brown shade here, I use all the time as a um, transition shade or just a easy to crease color here. Let me show you. Can you guys see how much of this I have? No other shadow has a dent that humongous. Like, it is huge. All the other shadows are pretty. Uh, actually, the white and the gold have the little dents in them too. But I really like this um, palette. I don't usually use it just by itself, but like, comparing it with other, like, working in with other colors, I really, really like it. And I think I got it, like, the dollar store, which was, like, score. Next, best for traveling, and I'm going to go basic, like the basics. Um, this is the Naked Basics palette. Uh, this is probably the best for a shorter trip. If I'm going on a longer trip, I am going to bring something with a little more color selection, perhaps a little shimmer in there, because this is pretty basic. You have your black, your brown, your taupe, your, and then two pretty close, neutrally white colors there, and then a shimmery shade. I like this one better then the Naked 2 because the Naked 2 doesn't really have a brown brown highlighting shade unless you want to use a shimmery brown bone highlight which is not my favorite so that's why I like this one better for traveling only for short trips though if it's longer I would bring a slightly bigger palette like the Chocolate Bar by Too Faced yeah or I'll pack a whole bunch of singles too Next is the biggest regret, and that is this guy over here. This is the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. And the shadow quality, I find, is not up to the standard of the Pulp Fiction palette. I just find that these colors are just mediocre. I don't find myself reaching for it as much anymore. Like, when I first got this, I swear it was, like, the sun and the moon of life. But now I just find that the colors are just kind of lackluster. Um, there are some colors in here that I really like. I really like teas, but in general, this was kind of a big regret. Next is best color names, and that goes to my little One Direction quad sink. What is the name for five color palettes? I don't know. I guess they're called palettes. Um, these are all named after One Direction songs, and everybody, 
I love written direction, so that kind of just... Mm -hmm. I also really like the colors in here. This gray one is the best. So soft. But I was just about to pet my face. Like, I actually just love that color. Um, it also has like a cream shadow here, which is nice. I'm just going to tell you the names. There's Little White Lies, Strong, Half a Heart, Don't Forget Where You Belong, and Midnight Memories. So, I gotta love my One Direction, so... Yeah, I say so a lot. Next is least used, and that is the NYX All I Ever Wanted box. It's Shadows in here are pretty good, and it wasn't that expensive either, but it's just that it's so humongous and bulky, and I keep it like on the other side of my vanity, so it's so far away, and I, so I don't really gravitate to it as much. But like the, there's a lot of nice shades in here, and a great variety too. Um, like this blue nice this is the paint tone color of the year for 2015 up here and like they're pretty good color payoffs but it's just it's just so humongous and then I don't like the slidey parts where like I've hit pan on the highlighter there and then everything else just looks ratchet so just wish this was smaller somehow it's humongous and it's heavy. Next, but lastly, lastly, but certainly not leastly, um, it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This, I've had this guy for almost a year now. It'll be a year in January. Anniversary. I really, really like this palette. There's 16 colors in here. It smells like chocolate. The packaging, they slimmed down the packaging, which I wish I would have waited and bought the one with the slimmed down packaging, but whatever. The shadows in here are so nice. These browns, the matte browns are so pretty. And the shimmery, like, um, Marzipan is probably my favorite glittery shade in here. Like, Marzipan is just gorgeous. I love this palette. It is not the most travel friendly. I find that it's not the most secure, and it does tend to, like, bevel almost. But for everyday at home use, it is heaven, and I highly recommend it if you haven't picked it up yet. I know the hype has gone down over it, but I recommend it. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I take all of you guys to do this. It is really hot in here, and I'm pretty sure I look pretty orange. Boo. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Dirty fingers.